Hey everybody, this is Brian with aromacup.com. Thank you guys so much for joining me here again in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by aromacup.com. Today we're going to be talking about a much anticipated single serve brewing machine from Keurig. This is one that a lot of you guys have been wondering about. It's the Keurig View and we're going to tell you about it right now. Let's dive right in and show you what this awesome new machine can do. Alright guys, so you've been wondering about it and here it is, the brand new Keurig View. This is the next generation of single serve brewing machines. This is really where things are starting to go for Keurig, I think, and pretty impressed with this machine. So let me show you the general features of it and then we're going to move in and show you the screen in depth because the screen on the View is one of the coolest new features. So you can see it's it's a tank of a machine. It's quite large. It's definitely got some weight to it, but that's because it can do a whole heck of a lot. The first thing I should talk about with the view is that the brew basket is entirely different. It now makes use of the new Keurig view cups. So these cups look quite different from what we've gone to know with K cups from Keurig. You notice that they're a little bit larger. They have a very different design. And we'll show you later on how they're going to affect the brewing process with the Keurig View. But you're, you're still using relatively the same technology here, however, as what we're used to with K-Cups. Two needles which puncture our View Cup when we put it into the machine and when we close it up, the cup gets punctured and then we can choose what we would like to brew. As, as I say, I'll show you guys a little more about brewing later on because of the touch screen that this machine's got. It's got this central brewing button which is pretty cool lights up when you're ready to brew and you just need to access all the menu functions in order to tell it what to do. The tank on this is a 74 ounce tank. It's the biggest tank that we've seen on any of the Keurig machines and I think the reason for that is definitely because of the number of different drinks that this machine can make. Another great thing about the view as compared to many of the other machines which we've reviewed in the past is that it's made specifically for being able to brew into travel size cups, getting into the really large cups and it's got this removable tray and when we pull the tray out we can brew into very very large travel size mugs and cups which is an incredibly useful thing again because of the number of different beverages which this machine can make so the tray slides out real easily it's easy to manage and pretty straightforward to make use of filling the tank another thing I like about this new one is that the tank has this nice flip up door so you can just flip up and fill right there on the machine. You don't have to pop the whole tank off or take the whole lid off of it. So those are the basic features of the machine, as you can see, pretty straightforward. But let's talk about one of the coolest new features, which is the touch screen, which allows us to access all the brew functions. Let's dive in and show you some more about that. One of the most impressive features on the Keurig View is the touch screen. This is the first single serve brewer I've ever seen with a touch screen on it. Something that I should mention is that it's a really good touch screen. I've used a lot of different touch screens on various devices in the past and I've found that they don't respond well to my finger. This one is very, very malleable. It responds really well. Let me show you just a little bit about it before we show you the brew functions. Down on the bottom corner here, we've got a little info bubble and when we click on that, we can access two integral features of the machine. We've got the temperature setting and the time. So of course we can just simply set the time, choose auto on, auto off. We can set the energy saving mode if we want to set when the machine should power itself off to save energy. And we can choose the clock type. We can set the time and then we can decide if we'd like an analog or a digital clock. So that's a very, very useful thing. You can also decide if you'd like to have the clock on or off. So this is where you access all of the time sensitive settings. Temperature settings, and you can see it's responding really well to my finger, which is great. The temperature settings are very, very in-depth. This is something I really like, is that you can brew hotter with the Keurig View. If you like your coffee really, really, really hot, you can get it a lot hotter with the View over just about any other machine which I've ever used. We can go from 187 degrees at our lowest to 197 degrees at our highest. So that's pretty cool because if you really like hot coffee, you may have found that you've had a hard time getting the hottest coffee out of other single serve brewers. You can definitely get that, I think, out of the view. So it's really easy to set the temperature. All we have to do is tap the plus or minus buttons 
And you can see it's responding really, really well to my touch, which I really like because I've used a lot of touch screens where I'll have to press real hard or use a stylus. It drives me nuts. I really, really like the touch screen on this machine. So let's go back into just our simple clock mode. When our machine's waiting to brew, we're going to see the clock, and that means it's ready to go. Now, in order to brew, all we need to do is open up the brew basket again, and when we close it, we're going to get our brewing menu. Now, I'm not going to brew coffee just this moment. We'll show you that in a few moments here, but let me show you all the features that we have on the touch screen. You can see it's got quite a lot. Our first tab right here is the coffee and tea tab. And this, of course, is pretty straightforward. We choose if we want to brew a coffee, view cup, a tea, or other cup, because there's other forms of view cups which we can gain access to now, or hot cocoa. And of course, most importantly, we get to choose the size of the cup we would, we would like to brew. Our lowest is six ounces, and we can go all the way up, depending on what size drink it is that we're going to make, to different sizes. So if we go in coffee, we have up to 18 ounce. And you see this changes based on the type of drink I'm going to be brewing. So the machine adjusts itself. And that's because the actual pressure will be controlled by the view when it's brewing, depending on the type of cup which you choose to brew. So that's an important thing to keep in mind. Talking about that, if we take a look at the cafe tab, this is something in totally brand new to the Keurig line, is being able to do the cafe line of drinks. You're going to notice right here that there's a number of steps which you can walk through. You have the frothing step, which will be a first step using a special view cup, which will actually allow you to get froth drinks out of the view. Again, something entirely new and very, very cool to the view. And then down here on step two, we've got our coffee section and we can choose strong. And that's something I should mention is also on the coffee tab, we can also choose strong. So if you like a stronger brew, you can choose the strong option and get a stronger brew out of your cups. Again, that's something we didn't have control over on previous Keurig machines. Again, here on the cafe tab, we have the T slash other button if we want to make use of that. And we can choose our brew size depending on what type of drink we're going to be making. Finally, we've got the brew over ice tab. And again, this is pretty straightforward. We choose if we want to do iced coffee or iced tea or iced cafe. So you can do iced lattes, various things like that, specialty drinks, essentially. And we can choose if we would like to apply a strong option to those. And of course, we can choose the size of the drink that we would like to make. So this allows us to do larger iced tumblers, various drinks uh, and sizes such as that. So you see all these options that are available to you on the view. And again, I really should mention, I really, really do like the screen because with so many different options available to you, you would think that it might be a little bit hard to choose everything that you want, but it responds very, very well. And that's a very cool thing about the, the Keurig view, I think. So those are all the cool new features on the screen of the Keurig view. When you've chosen what you want to brew, you can simply press the brew button. So let's go ahead and jump in and show you how we can actually brew a drink using the view. All right, guys, so here's where the rubber meets the road, right? Let's make a drink using the Keurig view. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with a green mountain coffee breakfast blend view cup. Remember, these are different from K-cups. We're not using K-cups with the view. They're not going to work. They're not compatible. These are special. Now, something that's really cool about these new Keurig View Cups is they are recyclable. That was something a lot of folks were kind of put off by, by the, by the K-Cups, was that they were not recyclable. These are recyclable under the number five code for recycling. So you'll need to check in your local area if you can recycle number five plastics. But if you can, you can brew using, of course, the View Cup. When you're done, let the cup cool off and then you're going to notice that each cup has this little peel here tab. All you have to do is peel off the foil because that's not usually going to be recyclable. That top foil, it's painted. It's not easily recyclable, but get rid of the foil and you can recycle the cup. So that's a cool new feature. Kirik listened to a lot of folks uh, asking for that and they've answered with this new recyclable view cup. So let's show you how we can brew with it. All we need to do open up the Keurig View brew basket. Now, again, just like K-cup uh, brewers, it's pretty straightforward how to make use of this because 
the view cup has this little kind of concave edge on it. And all we have to do is match that up with the brew basket. So it just slides right in. It's pretty much foolproof. Pop it right in, close it up. And now the machine is going to go into brew mode. So now you notice that the brew button is, is blinking and the screen is now active. And all we need to do now is choose what kind of drink we're making, if we want it to be strong or not, and of course the cup size that we would like to make. So I'm not gonna make strong right now because that takes a little bit longer obviously to brew, but it is a good thing to make note of. If you like strong coffee, you've got the option. I'm gonna leave the coffee option set, which is the default option. So if you just need to make coffee real quick, pop it open, pop in a view cup, boom, you're ready to go. Choose your brew size, which again will be remembered by the machine. So if you constantly use 10 ounce, the machine's going to remember that. I'm just gonna go ahead and make an eight ounce cup and let's grab ourselves a cup right here. Pop it right under the brew basket. And after we've made our selections, whatever those may be, all we have to do is press the brew button. So let's hit the magic button. So you're gonna get this little readout on the screen which says that it's brewing. It's gonna tell you what size it's currently brewing. And it's just gonna do the magic from there. It's very, very quiet, but one thing that's different on the view that I notice over many of the other Keurig machines is that I can hear the pump inside of it doing some work. We're no longer just simply pumping some hot water through a cup and making a cup of coffee. The view actually has a pressure pump inside of it which will pump based on the drink type which you select. So this is really important for being able to make all those cool new specialty drinks that the view is capable of making. And you can hear there's a little more pressure to this machine. That was something that a lot of folks had also talked about is that with the other machines there wasn't a whole lot of pressure. You get more pressure on the view and as a result I think you get a much better cup of coffee. So there you go, that's an eight ounce cup right there. And I must say, the cup of coffee that comes out of the Keurig view is quite good. When the machine is all done, it's just gonna go back to the lift to brew mode and it's ready to go. All we have to do, pop open the brew basket and take out our spent cup. It's gonna be hot, of course, so be careful. And remember, if you wanna recycle this and you can recycle it in your area, all you have to do is wait, peel off that foil, and now you can recycle it. And let me show you guys what the cup does real quick after we punctured it and made use of it. With K-cups, you'll remember that the K-cup would be punched through the bottom of the cup. In the case of view cups, there's two punches, but it's done in the middle of the cup and here on the edge. So again, the brew pot process is a little bit differently. The pressure is different because we're not just forcing hot water through a cup. I think that's one of the things that really makes a good cup of coffee out of the view. So there you go. Let's show you how we can make some tea utilizing the tea function on the view as well. So again, very simple. I'm just using some celestial seasonings, green tea with a little bit of white tea in it right here. I'm gonna pop my view cup in, close it up, add my cup, of course. And now I'm gonna choose tea slash other. Now remember, when we go to tea slash other, this changes the number of drink sizes that we can do. In the case of tea and other, we only have six ounce and eight ounce and 10 ounce and 12 ounce. So we have a little less options, but that's because, again, the machine knows what kind of drink it should make in order to brew the best type of drink. So again, I'm just gonna go ahead and, in, the, in this case, let's go ahead and make a six ounce cup of tea because I like my tea a little bit strong. So we'll choose six ounce, make sure that we have tea slash other selected, and again, just hit brew. And there you go, the machine starts brewing. It's quiet but it does its job really, really well, which is something that I really like. So while it's doing its job, of course, I'll remind you guys, check out aromacup.com, join our forums, talk with other coffee lovers, find out more great information about single sir machines like The View, the other Keurig single sir machines available to you. We'll help you to demystify the world of single serve coffee, tea, and other drinks. It's one of the things we do best at aromacup.com, so we hope to see you guys over there on the website, I'd love to talk coffee and tea with you guys on aromacup.com. So you can see that based on the type of drink which we make, the machine will adjust and take a different amount of time based on the drink that you've decided to create using the view. You notice the tea took a little bit longer than the coffee 
even though it was only a six ounce cup. And that's really good because what that means is it's taking its time as it puts the hot water through the cup so as to make the flavor of the beverage really the best. So any of you folks out there who have said that you were a little put off about the flavor that you got out of some of the Keurig machines in the past, I think the view is really going to help to address those needs for you because of the pressure pump that it has and of course the wide variety of drinks that it can make. All right, guys, there you go. That's the Keurig view. Now, in our next videos, we're going to show you how you can make all the other awesome new drinks using the Keurig view, such as froth drinks, cafe drinks, and various things like that. But for now, there's an overview of one of the most highly anticipated machines in the single serve world. So I hope that you guys found it useful and cool. Please stay in touch with us. Join us on aromacup.com. I'm Brian. Thanks for joining me in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by aromacup.com. And I'll see you guys next time.